This video is to help you um, work around using Stat Pro, especially for forecasting. So um, I have created a new example, uh, Holt Winters quarterly example. Uh, Holt Winters is the only method where it's um, going to be a little bit pickier to kind of follow what I'm showing here. Um, <clears throat> it's the only one where it matters what type of data you have, quarterly, monthly, etc. So I'm just going to use the Holt Winters example and I've generated a new quarterly example I'm going to post on D2L and work with this guy in this video. <clears throat> so here's my original data set, um, quarterly data here, and um, here's what StatPro generated for the forecasting on this data set uh, using Holt Winters and assuming it's quarterly data. Um, now, um, again, I will post this up on D2L after this. Uh, I'm going to show you kind of how to hack this in case you can't get your Stat Pro to work. And it's 9.20, your project's due at the end of the day here. So this is just a little help video in case you, um, if you need it. Um, okay, so what we're going to need to do, if you take a look here, um, look at... Um, quarter one of 2011. If you'll notice, that's kind of when all of the um, forecasting starts. This line is what you're going to want to modify. This guy right here. Okay. And um, what you're also going to want to do is take your data set and paste it in here, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to grab, I'm just grabbing another random data set. So it's going to be similar. Whatever you have, you're going to do the same steps. I'm going to go and copy my data. So this is the data I actually want to run Holt Winters on, but I can't get Stat Pro to work. So what do I do? Uh, I go and copy the data and throw it into um, the template that I've generated here. So I'm going to go paste this stuff in. Okay. Now, uh, again, what I'm going to have to modify is this line where my first forecast starts, which is quarter one of the second year, whatever year that is. Or basically there's a first four quarters and then my first forecast is in um, the fifth quarter uh, of this data. So what I'm going to want to do, um, I don't need to modify either of these columns. Uh, what I do need to do is start modifying these guys here. Uh, first thing, Taking a look at this line, um, the only um, things that should be locked are these three um, level trend and seasonality or my alpha, beta, gamma. The rest should not be locked. Um, so first thing I go do is pull out the dollar signs on everything but cell references to B6 through B8. I'm going to do that for the, the level. Do the same for the trend. So I'm going to leave the B7. Leave the B7. So anything in B6 through B8, don't pull out the dollar signs. Leave it locked. Uh, everything else, pull them out. So I'm just going through each of these formulas and pulling out the dollar signs um, that lock these cells as I scroll down. Okay, and then I'm now ready to go and copy all of these formulas down. You can copy them all the way down until you run out of data. Bear with me here. There is more data, it's just hidden behind the graph here. Gorgeous, the data runs all the way down to here now. Um, okay, just going to clean this up too. Gorgeous. You don't have to clean up the formatting. I'm just doing that for ease of looking at this. Uh, so again, copy all the way down to the bottom. Good. Um, <clears throat> okay. And there you go. So you have your uh, level, your trend, your seasonal, your forecast, and your error for this new data set without using Stat Pro, just by copying the data in and then um, taking that first um, 
forecast line and removing all of the dollar signs in all of the calculations um, where it locks like E6, H2, uh, F5, and G5, taking out those dollar signs so that as you scroll down, um, the formula will move with your scrolling down. Um, okay, and now, last thing we want to do is uh, optimize um, your coefficients to minimize your error measures. Um, so what we're going to need to do, let's assume even, uh, let's assume we didn't have those three calculations um, at all. The only one I'm going to bother getting is the uh, RMSC, you just need one of them, and that's fine for your final project. Uh, so the square root of the sum squared of the errors, control shift down to grab them all, divided by the count of the errors, J6 through J43 in this case, um, gives you your root mean squared error. Uh, we've been through that um, with the My Math Lab stuff. So again, just highlight all of your errors, get the root mean squared error of those. And now, uh, very last thing we're going to do is go into Solver. Um, and we're going to set the objective to be the root mean squared error here, and we're going to minimize it by changing the level trend and seasonality. Subject to the constraints that these three are less than or equal to one, Click OK, and also check off, make them non-negative, and solve. Click OK. Okay, so that's now our workaround. Uh, a little note, you can do the same thing for Holtz method or SES or moving average. Just take the data that was there uh, and overwrite it with your data. Uh, and then just unlock this the first line where you have a forecast, um, any references that aren't to the alpha or beta or alpha, beta, gamma, if it's whole winters, uh, any reference that aren't to those, just go and um, get rid of the dollar signs and you're good to go.